Hey guys, Shadow Jacker here, doing uh, some sort of uh, review on stuff I have made because I was just messing around with one day because my mom had these uh, pipe cleaners and I was bored, so I would figure because I was sick of playing with the plastic f figures that can only do certain things when I can just make my own and they only cost like five cents. So here they are. First up would be uh, Nine Tailed Fox. Would be my own creation. Doesn't that look sick? Yes, I know. He looks really cool. Durr. Because you can make whatever you want and it doesn't even cost you like a dime. Like, seriously. Like, probably a dollar just for a pack. I mean, seriously. But, I mean, it, um, the more I started out with, you started out with two tails. And then I just kept on adding on. But, and I know it looks like I'm not going to be able to add any more. But um, we're forgetting about the back because the back part is basically going to be the initial once I push it all together and it's going to look like a nine tail fox, basically. Uh, yeah, so this is probably one of the really coolest ones I've ever done. Uh, considering how much he actually looks like the fox, just all red chakra. Like, I know there'd be like black soaring of chakra, like, because if it's dark and everything. Uh, I know that's that, but, you know, it's the best I could do. And I know you can see the little metal pieces because it's pipe cleaners and everything. Because uh, I made him at, you know, out of creation. Because he looks just, just out of my looking, he looks really cool. You know, just by the fox. If you stand him up like this, he just, like, you can tell that he's standing like the fox. Next up would be just some sort of uh, ninja dude. I don't know. This guy is like, uh, he can just, you know, just some sort of ninja dude. I mean, they can move however far they want. I mean, I know it's just, you know, these these designs are simple and cheesy, like no one really cares. But um I know that people have made better ones, but I mean, if uh they're so di they're so 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 um you know, uh, detailed, that means once the pipe cleaner is metal inside, you know, the bendable breaks, what are you going to do? You're going to take it all apart and build it back again? No. When you can just do this and make these cool little guys that actually look cool. You know, cool storylines, cool toys and everything. It's, you know, it's pretty sick. I mean, you can't make stop motions with them, but anyway, they're cool, you know, just for toys. Not a toy, I mean, it's just a cool for designs and everything, because I wouldn't, I wasn't able to think that I could do this, but I did. And these guys actually, this is called the Black Ninja, because, um, like, just, I don't know, just by creating, just messing around. I know that you probably don't see their hands, like, they've only got these, like, hands that can go like this, and then I've got things that can wrap around to hold the swords and everything. Uh, I've got weapons. I've got a whole bunch of things, but it'll take, like, ten minutes of the review, uh, just to try. But anyway, he, he's really one of the, my coolest ones, that's why I've brought the coolest ones that I thought in, in here. So, yeah, that's him. And I know it looks cheesy from the, you know, just by the head, but, I mean, he looks like he's worn like a facial, facial mask, just to cover, but, uh, yeah, and another thing about these, uh, these creations I make, you can actually take off all the detail and add-ons that you add onto them, and get, get down to their middle piece that is actually their starting piece of their legs and hands, and next video I will do a tutorial, or a tutor, a tutor, however, ah, whoever you say it, well, anywho, um, how, uh, I'll show you guys how to make these guys. Um, they're actually pretty fun to make. I mean, I'll teach you everything, just basically of what I know, because I know that most people just think this is stupid because you should just buy the figures for like 12 to $20 and rip off them when they break because you can't even fix them. When I can get these, and you can make little guns for them too. I mean, not, not only that, they're not going to be bendable. You just got to make them really tight and actually make them have a grip holder and they won't fall out. You just got to make them just right or they're, and make sure their arms are actually in the right position. You can twist them like any way you want. They can bend as far as they want, bend as far as anything. But you just got to make sure the middle inside doesn't break or else you can fix them. You just got to take the add-ons off and uh, snip the bad piece. Or, or, I mean, or if already, ugh, if, if already it's going to break off, you just uh, stick the other... Um, piece in there, wrap it around somewhere, and you basically just gotta level it up with the other leg, make sure they're leveled, 
And there you go, your figure is fixed. But this is one of my coolest guys right here, Black Ninja. Um, this guy is amazing. Like this, I made this guy like two days ago. I know he looks, he's got like a crazy, like, what in the world? It's purple. Why? I don't know. I was just being creative because it's, he was just really cool at first. I mean, he's got a tail. I mean, you can add tails as well, as many tails as you want. Um, and this guy is not a one-tailed beast or whatever you guys are going to think. It's just a normal creation, whatever. And you got, and you can hang these guys wherever you want. Like, if you want to hang them from somewhere and just, like, have them sitting there and they're all in their little, you know, positions, you can have them go anywhere you want. Yeah, so this is their, he, like, he's just got, like, this uh, this design where he's got, like, these, he's supposed to have just, like, purple spike flames or whatever. I don't know. That's my design of idea. And this is supposed to be some sort of crystal that he uses. Um, for his heart or whatever. That's just my design, but yeah, this is um, uh, Nightcrawler because, well, I don't know why they call him. I, I don't know why I picked that name, but he's just uh, just really cool. This is one of my really cool coolest guys that I just like at a personality. Just really nice. Just really cool. And yeah, that's that. Next one would be one of my first ones I've ever made, but this is not how he looks right now. He looks really colorful and everything. This is one of the first ones I made. Before, he looked like, uh, without all these add-ons, he looked a lot more different, in, and he looked like a starter version. And now, he before, or before, that was like two years ago, his legs and broke, and I couldn't figure out how to fix them. Now, I know how to fix them if they break, which is you just slip the add it in there and then you just wrap around it and there's your basically your new leg or arm or add on anything just make sure you don't bend it too hard like see the back here right right here just snipped off and then the add-on is just hanging so i've got to fix that okay and i know that you guys are probably all wondering he was just one of the parts of my story mode once i created him this guy has a built like a first of all he started out as just a normal guy with one of the original characters, that would be uh, him. He is my first ever guy I have ever made. And it started out when I was in school, and I was in sixth grade. Uh, I was just picked up one of these pipe cleaner things, and he was just, you know, me and my friend, my, me and my friend were just, you know, like playing around with him and stuff like that. We were like, wow, these are really cool and, and everything. But th this is when we didn't know that we could add on like this. And as you can see, I know his ar this arm's longer because he's just got like a bold arm and then the other arm's bold as well because these guys are really bulky and they're really cool, but they, you, you can still bend them to the extent. Just make sure you're not going to bend them too hard. And I know he, that he actually looks like he's really slim. Why? It's because these are really old pieces, so that's why. Uh, besides, um, these two are my first guys I've ever made, um, and I make like all kinds of vehicles and stuff for them to go on. So yeah. This is them. Uh, these are them. And, uh, yeah. They both broke, and, uh, like, a year ago, and I never knew how to fix them until last week. Uh, I figured out... <laughs> I uh, Well, I didn't figure out until last week. I mean, I gave up and hope on them. I thought they were, like, hopeless to build back because I knew that I could fix them. I just didn't have the time, and I just didn't feel like it. But, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's just try give it a try. Uh, I snipped off, I had tried to fix him once, and it did not work. He became, like, uh, something that doesn't even look like this. He looked like, uh, the strains were coming out, and his legs were flopping all over the place. Like, it was just really messy and really messed up. Until I got him like this, where it actually looks like my original character. Except for the black. It, it was, it was multicolor, different color, but before, he wasn't like this, and, yeah. Before... This was my original character, and and these guys are super, 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 super light. I mean, like, seriously, these are, like, like not even a gram, like, how light these are. Um, what, what I'm saying is, is I like to be creative. I am very articulate and creative in what I like to do. And it's not that it's not cool in any way. I just think that these guys are actually really cool. Not, not only if, if they, you know, there's just my design, but... That you can put them in stances and everything, and you can add on to their head or whatever you want. 
and I'm um, just saying, but the next video I will make uh, another review. This would be a second part, so I know the following link, and I'll check you guys in on the second video.